at work. TFNN Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here. This is the Tiger Technicians, our host, coming up in another few minutes. But we're going to do the TFNN noon update, Eastern Time. Dow's up 219 points at 26,565. It was down over 300 points in the futures last night. These moves seem to be uh, huge. If you put it in the context, look at the chart on the left. That's the daily chart. Look at the chart on the right. We've just been in the trading range for a while. The trading range intraday is very choppy. And that's what we're looking at. We're testing the 14 period exponential moving average right now. We're about to do the same kind of test as we did uh, previously uh, back in August. We had a huge up move. It stalled, pulled back, and they made a nominal new high, uh, the recovery high, that is. And that would be above 26,590 if it's able to get going um, today and tomorrow. And then we start to become vulnerable to some kind of a decline if the patterns are starting to match. The MAGD for the first time has actually started to turn up. It hasn't crossed positive. Stochastic, yeah, it's flat at 41%. The S&P, this is the daily chart of the S&P, is running above the 14-period moving average at 29.46, up 26. That's a big move. But it has to go above 29.59.75 to start a, a leg B, and then that'll start to match the same pattern that we saw before when those arches were made. So we're going to be watching this very closely. Will the MAGD cross positive or deflect in the next three, four days? That's a big question. Now, the, the S&P is up 0.92%. The QQQ index 100 is up 1.05 percent, a very nice move. This has, in fact, rallied very strongly. It still needs to get at 189.18 and it needs to get above 189.74. I would say it has to get into the 190.70 area to really say, hey, this is going to continue higher in the trading range, but higher. And the IWM, which has been one of the weaker indices, is only up 0.63 percent, up 0.92 at 148.05. It's lagging badly. Gold, this is going to be the whole thing. Look at the gold. Gold it sounds like it's terrible. Down 14 points in the trading band. Look at this rectangle formation. If it goes at 14.98, if it starts to close under 14.95, 14.92, that's an issue, at least for the, for the moment. And the dollar is held OK, but it's still starting to lag. Um, that was dollars at 98.81, down 0.32. I'll be back. We'll talk more about it. We'll talk about bonds, etc. My show, the Tiger Conditions Hour, coming up straight after this.